What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Bodar Kikos. So before we get into this video, if you're not subscribed, do me a favor, go down, hit the subscribe button, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay up with uh, what all we got going on with these goats, getting ready to kick off breeding season. That's what we're doing right now, is preparing these does for uh, breeding. But do me a favor, subscribe to our channel and stay up with us. So it's that time of year again and uh, it is time to nutritionally flush these does and get them ready for breeding season. So I went and I picked up a ton of feed. It's a 16% uh, goat ration and uh, we are gonna get these goats ready for breeding season. So our doe herd is uh, in pretty good shape right now. They are uh, looking good. We've got them ready to be bred. Breeding season will start up here in about two weeks. We'll be putting our bucks, uh, megawatt, and BT in. So it's time to flush these does and get them ready to breed. Why are we nutritionally flushing them? Well, I'll tell you why. So, you seen us unload that, and uh, we buy it in them super sacks. Uh, it's cheaper that way, and uh, we have a tractor that helps get it off the truck, and uh, then we push it into the barn, and you can see that we have it stored in the barn. We got it stored in here in this big super sack. So, the reason why we are nutritionally flushing these does is we're wanting to boost ovulation. So whenever they uh, get bred, they're gonna have twins. That's what we're shooting for. And last year we did this and it worked for us. Uh, so this year we're gonna flush them again. Uh, two weeks prior to putting them in, we're gonna go and start giving them some feed. And uh, we used this feed last year. I uh, really like it, it's high in protein. Uh, I'll show you a clip of it, of what it looks like. And uh, we're gonna use it this year and have hopefully as much success as we did last year. Last year I think we might have had five singles out of 70 nannies, so that was pretty good rate for us. So as I'm walking out here to show you guys these does, uh, they are on fresh pasture. Uh, we're still rotating pastures every 21 days and uh, they're out here on a good pasture that's got grasses for them. So uh, they're out here grazing good quality uh, forage and we are going to start supplementing this feed. So with the feed, uh, they suggest you do half a pound to a pound per head per day. So uh, there's about 54 uh, does in this lot right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up some buckets and we're gonna give them some feed uh, every afternoon. We're gonna bring them in off these pastures and then we're gonna supplement some quality, high protein uh, feed for two solid weeks and then we're gonna put the bucks in. Go 
going on, Mo? Protecting the herd. y'all something here in just a minute. today we'll fill them buckets up and we'll grain these does and uh, you can see that they get uh, about a pound per head per day time you weigh it out uh, so these does are getting good nutrition and uh, like I said they're out here on this good grass and we're continuing to rotate pastures but I hope you guys uh, like the video uh, appreciate you watching and uh, if you're not subscribed, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, and as always, uh, we will catch you guys on the next one.